In this video, we are going to discuss the structure of the grant XML document. Now, the grant XML document actually combines two vocabularies. One is the grant vocabulary that we will signify with the namespace GR. The second is the studies vocabulary that we will specify with the namespace STD. So here our namespace GR grant. Now all of its child elements, unless otherwise specified, will be of the GR namespace. It has, in that root element, it has an attribute grant num and funding, those two attributes. We also put in here our namespace declaration for our XML schema instance, our namespace declaration for the grant with its URI, and the schema location of the grant document of this URI is grant.xsd. Now the grant root element has child elements. Those child elements include title, agency, department, summary, initiated, expires, coordinator. Now we come to the studies vocabulary and it's specified with the STD. Now everything within the studies root element is going to be in that STD namespace. We declare its namespace with its URI and the schema location for that URI is slist.xsd. The studies vocabulary in the studies root element has multiple child elements. It has a study element with a study ID attribute and then the study element has child elements as well. It has a title, a summary, this pi, start date, stop date, enrollment, gender, phase, and site. Now if we scroll down to another study, so studies can have multiple study elements. In the next study we see there are multiple sites. So site can be one or more times. Once all the study elements are done, we end our studies namespace and then we end the grant namespace. And that is the structure of the grant XML file.